This is the Canon R5C, a straight beast of a camera. It's rocking Canon C-Log 3 as well as shooting in 8K. And I can honestly say it is definitely dripping some sauce. But does it vlog though? And now before I get into today's episode, I do have to say that Canon is not sponsoring this video, but I do have to give a huge shout out to today's coffee sponsors, It's 75, as well as Sharon. Sharon pulling up with a bunch of coffees, as well as Linda for the super thanks. Thank you so much for the coffees. If you wanna buy me a coffee, don't be shy. The link is down below. So now, this is actually first class. I'm not supposed to be back here. But since the train is super packed, I thought I'd just come back here and just explain a little bit about the Canon R5C. Because to be real, it is an amazing, like amazing beast. The Canon R5C shoots 4K 120, 8K 60, has a 48 megapixel sensor, also has a built-in fan. If you have a Canon R5C, you know that, yeah, overheating ain't even in vocabulary. The Canon R5C also shoots in Super 35, Super 16, and overall, it's just, it is a beast. Like, for real, there are just too many things that I don't know about the camera. Like, I've legit had this camera for about six months, and I still can't figure out everything about this camera. Like, I, I'm still confused. truly is incredible. Whoa, look at all those people. Yeah, that's um, that's a lot of people. <laughs> Jeez. And now when it comes to vlogging with the Canon R5C, I'm going ahead and I'm rocking the 15 to 35 Canon lens. The DJI wireless mics as well as newer small compact carbon fiber travel tripod. I found that this is, ooh, we cricket, hold up, pimp. Yeah, I found that these accessories work well for vlogging with the Canon R5C. And what is that next to me? What, ooh. I've used a bunch of different setups for the Canon R5C, but I found this setup to work the best. Just because, again, it's, it's a big boy. So you're trying to keep it as small and light as possible. <laughs> and although this is my first time reviewing the Canon R5C, this is not my first time vlogging with the Canon R5C. I mean, if you rock with me for a minute, you probably recognize that I've vlogged with the Canon R5C like a ton of times. And if I'm being real, vlogging with it is doable. It's heavy though, like it is extremely heavy. Snap, look at that, a shoe bike. <laughs> One of the reasons I think the camera is just so massive besides the body alone are the lenses. Canon's lenses are just so big. And that's why I think that was another reason that kind of pushed me more towards Sony, even though Canon does have better image quality. Now, along with a bigger body, you are also getting like a premium build. And I mean premium, like because the Canon R5C is extremely well built. And the same goes for the lenses as well. The lenses are just, Top notch, like you can feel it when you're, oh, come on, man. <laughs> and now, unlike the Canon R5, the Canon R5C doesn't offer like stabilization. And now it does offer digital IS, like image stabilization, like but digitally, which is very similar to what the Sony ZV-1 Mark II is offering which I think is a big mistake. But in Canon's case, I don't think it is a mistake because you get stabilization in the lens. Unlike the Sony ZV-1 Mark II, which they should have had stabilization in the lens because it's a, it's a zoom lens. You can't physically take off the lens. And now with that said though, the Canon R5C now has one of the biggest pros of not using stabilization within the camera and that is you don't get that terrible Canon wobble. What's crazy is that this wobble has plagued Canon for like years. I mean, I even think it's called the Canon wobble. It's almost like a dance track. <laughs> so y'all wanna hear something crazy? It's literally like 11 a.m. and everybody's outside. <laughs> Just turned up on the boat drinking 11 a.m.
I need to go ahead and hop on that. You know, I always love coming to Amsterdam, but it is just too many people, like all the time. And to be honest, if I'm keeping it real, if I'm keeping it 100 P, I will have to say that stabilization on the Canon R5C is pretty good. And now I do think a lot of that has to do with the lens being stabilized, but yeah, when I shoot on the Canon, I usually don't turn on the digital image stabilization unless I'm getting B-roll, and I'll show you why. So you see, I'm at about 15 mil, holding the camera out, steady as I can. This is without the digital image stabilization turned on, and now I'm gonna turn it on, and this is with the digital image stabilization turned on. Works extremely well, but way, way too tight on the face. Like that crop is huge. So I legit just leave it turned off. There's there's no point of turning it on unless you're doing B-roll shots because it, it works great as an extra zoom. But you see when I use it as a B-roll camera, so look at the, look at this. So this is at 15 mil, this is at 35 mil. That is with the stabilization turned on. Uh-oh, somebody moving. And now let's talk audio because although I am using the DJI mics, the audio, the internal audio is actually not bad. So this is the DJI mic and now I'm gonna plug the mic. This is without any external mic. This is all internal mic. So yeah, how does that sound? Again, to me, it's actually doable unless you're in like a really loud place. But in all honesty, an external mic is the way to go. Just saying, just saying. Overall, I will say that the Canon R5C can be used for vlogging, like legit. It totally could. It works really well, very well built. I've never really had any problems with it. Overall, it is a solid camera, but pimping, it does have some problems. <laughs> Man, it is crazy hot. <laughs> Hey, so now we're posting up because you know how thugs do. Let's talk about the cons. The size is a bit much. Like it, it is heavy. It's definitely heavier than my Sony A7S III, a lot heavier than my Sony ZV-E1, and it's just a bit too heavy to be lugging around daily. Like I, I ain't joking, it is a heavy camera. The next con has to be the autofocus. I noticed that the autofocus is not, it, it's lacking, especially when you compare it to like the Sony ZV-E1 or the Sony A7S III. For a premium camera like this, I just feel like the autofocus should work a lot better. The next con is a very known one and a bit, it's a bit ridiculous, but the battery life is, it's a little bit better than Sony ZV-1, but still, like you, you're getting maybe, even though the camera says you're getting like 50 minutes, you're getting maybe 40 or 30. But unlike the Sony ZV-1, the cat, the battery dies even when you're not recording or it dies if you're just in a menu section. Like it is, it is crazy. The only way around the issue is to either turn the camera off or go into the preview menu. I'm just super saying. back. Whoa, what a long day. But anyway, Pimmin, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of the Canon R5C. For me, I definitely don't like the battery life and the price. <laughs> but again, Pippin, let me know what you guys think. Also, huge shout out to everybody who bought me a coffee. And if you want to buy me a coffee, Pippin, don't be shy. The hey. link is down below. Also, huge shout out to Linda for the super thanks. All right, well, Pimpin, I think that's it though. I need to get on up out of here because I'm pretty sure, yeah, we got like a minute left. So let me just get on up out of here before the video just comes.